Welcome back, friends. We are in conversation with uh, Shehan, Thomas, Brian. And yes, uh, you're right. I did not let him go because we have so many things to talk about and so many things to learn. So we have Shehan here. Of course, you are tuned in to 8K Radio EBC. Miles come, smiles. Ziyada with your favorite host, Trisha Mukherjee. So, Tom, we were talking about your journey because I want my listeners to know more and more about you because you never know your action your thoughts may inspire someone out there how do you continue with this immense i can say unstoppable uh, energy that you have how do you how do you go about it well I, you're you're right i'm i'm actually blessed because i do have a lot of energy and again uh, you know i work out um i do a lot of different things I have my own kind of style of working out. Uh, as you know, I have my own gym, mm -hmm. at, uh, you know, the 24-7 gym, so there's no excuse. You can go there around the clock anytime, yes. right? <laughs> but uh, I have my own hybrid way of working out. It's kind of a hybrid of CrossFit and working with the machines and the free weights, and I uh, also do a lot of cardio. Um, I took up uh, a few years ago, like Tour de France bicycle riding, so like pro cycling. Mm -hmm. I enjoy doing that. Um, I only sleep about four or five hours a night. And uh, I have a passion for life. I have a passion for living. I like to get involved with a lot of different things. And more people get off the couch and start exercising and get into any type of program, it'll make them feel much better. It comes, comes to that what you choose to do, right? I, I liked the part in the first segment where you said that it is up to you to get back up and uh, get going. And also um, that you said your heart is so much full of gratitude and you feel blessed to have such a, a great life that you have. And uh, also that how beautiful, this is the best part that you have a passion for living and you love the life that you have. I do. And, and again, um, you know, some people are not lucky and have to deal with a, a lot of negativity uh, whatever that may be but uh, you know I can tell you a little story also um, you know I have two children my daughter Brielle and my son Thomas uh, my son is autistic and he suffers from Tourette syndrome mm -hmm. now this is the child that was never going to graduate high school or never drive a car mm -hmm. and he really is my hero because this child has shown me what perseverance is um, he's a terrific boy uh, you know him you've met him and um, he 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 is he's got a great heart he's a great young man now he's 21 years old and uh right now you wouldn't even know he has Tourette syndrome so you know he's kind of grown out of it a little bit mm -hmm. um, but we did get involved and we still stay involved with the new jersey Tourette foundation mm -hmm. um, but uh, again he has persevered and um become successful i mean he you know he works full-time job and bought his own car his own hemi challenger <laughs> <laughs> so again, this was the child that the doctor said would never graduate high school and uh, would never be able to drive a, drive a car. And he's doing fantastic. He really is my hero. Wow. It's beautiful. So you draw all your inspiration from this yeah. amazing person, your son, yes. right? Beautiful. The man behind all these actions, end of the day, you're that extraordinary commoner that we have uh, with us in our studio. But there's only so many hours in the day. Wow. You have to stay. I have to manage my time very effectively and efficiently yeah, in order to get everything right. done. That's right. But I, I have a lot that I want to do yet. I mean, um, obviously my passion is the police department yes. and providing providing that stellar service to the community. Um, so, you know, I'll continue with that and mm -hmm. uh, looking for new innovative ways um, basically to employ our forces mm -hmm. within the department, you know, mm -hmm. new law enforcement technology. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I also uh, would like to write a book. Mm -hmm. Hopefully sometime in the near future I can start that. During the commercial break, I was then in conversation trying to find something different about Shihan as if he's not. What I keep finding that that you're really, in real terms, unstoppable. You're never stopping, right? No. You're, you're just going, going yeah. on and on. Oh, let me tell you, it's because of my listeners that I have been continuing for the past uh, six years. And Excellent. yeah, they, they are amazing because sometimes they they tell me that what makes them the extraordinary commoner that I talk about. And it's uh, usually the very simple things of life. 
that they talk about and that is what I see here today. Do you take great interest in music? I do. I, I take, actually, I did some acting years ago. I was in a couple movies mm -hmm. um, with Bridget Fonda and Nicolas Cage and it couldn't wow. happen to you. Okay. Um, I went out to California back in 1993 and I did a movie with Don the Dragon Wilson which is called Cyber Tracker and mm -hmm. that was uh, again, that was martial arts movie. Yes. So I, I did a I did some of that. Um, uh, music wise, I, I enjoy all types of music. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, mostly rock music, classic rock. Um, I produced a record for my wife. My mm -hmm. wife has a uh, Christian CD out. Okay. Uh, since two thousand nine. Okay. Um, she she went on tour for a while. The uh, we we called it the Jesus Bookstore tour. She okay. went out with her band. Okay. Um, she's not doing that right now, but she does. She still has the CD out there, which is available. My best wishes uh, to your wife too. Now I know a little bit about you that you want to just keep going. So why is it that you came back? And it is 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 there a calling for martial arts that you always because I read that even the mo motorcycle. I think that was for six, seven, six years. Six I did years, that, yes. right? And then well, I've always been with the police work. I mean, that's that's a gift. But um, what happens is um, there's there's other things that you want to do, and there's only yes, so many of hours in the day. I mean, at one time I was running five martial arts studios. Now we just have the the big school in East Windsor, which is like five thousand square feet. But uh, you just keep moving. That's it. You just keep Never moving. Never give up. Keep and moving. I also learned a couple of very innovative ways how you work and uh, your team and you take great pride in your team the police force yes. i really want to mention this that uh, tom was very proudly talking about how well you're supported sure. by the community by the people the community is very supportive of us uh, we have i have a great command staff deputy chief and captain's a great command staff and then my mid-level supervisors are doing a great job um, we, we have put together a new hiring ordinance um, together with the mayor and his staff and also a new promotional ordinance. So it's very professional. We're getting the best candidate for the position. And uh, again, I can't say enough great things about them because they are doing a fantastic job. They're, they're so talented. Um, you're, you're getting a more educated, well-rounded officer because listen, a police officer is a doctor, a lawyer, mm -hmm a psychologist. I mean, we deal with everything and we're always the first responder no matter yes, what. No matter what. They see the worst, yes. but they also see the best. Wow. The first responders. In or shine, you do what you got to do. It is beyond any work we have here. Uh, Mr. Thomas Bryan, the Edison Police Chief, and uh, also uh, Shehan, you run the Martial Arts Academy. And right. uh, you have got lot many achievements behind and also coming up. There are many young listeners out there. What message would you give to them? Again, it's being aware of your surroundings at all times, obeying all the traffic laws, listening to your instructor, your driving instructor, your teacher, and of course, the parents. Mm -hmm. when, when your parents are with you in the car, listen to them. Hmm. All right, because they've got the experience, so as you're beginning to drive, um, there's many more cars on the road now than there were right. when I learned how to drive, yes. that's for sure. Right. So you have to be very, very careful. Yes, definitely. Careful is the word. And we all have to, not just my young listeners, but we all have to remember that, that careful and awareness, keeping that going. Well, we are in conversation with Mr. Thomas O'Brien. Today we have this opportunity to have him. We are able to convey the message to all the listeners and to the public how we can take part in living with harmony. That's right. And uh, yes, peace is definitely possible. And like I say, in any kind of job, any department, any country, anywhere, good, bad exist together. It's uh, definitely up to me as an individual what path I choose or which way I go to, right? That's right. Yeah. You are the master of your own destiny. Absolutely. We had a great time and I'd like to thank on behalf of 8K Radio EBC that you are here with us and you agreed to come and join my show. I hope you know that you are in uh, the show called Bindas with Bindas, Trisha. Bindas, I am well aware of it. <laughs> yes. No, it's, and <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure. It's my, my pleasure. I'm <laughs> honored you. to be here. I also like to thank all my listeners uh, 
around the world and especially my lovely listeners new jersey and new york thanksgiving saturday so once again from the bottom of my heart shihan i want to thank you oh thank you so much thank you, thank you for much. your time and we hope to uh, stay in touch i am sure with these kind of personalities in our show i think we can achieve a lot in terms of spreading or creating a positive change all around. Well, stay positive. Look for the good in everybody. Thank you very much. So this one goes out to the one and all that we should have faith and we should have the hope that yes, things are going to be better. Things are going to be good. We just have to believe in ourselves and this one this song is all about the hope that we should never leave. Very cool.